Hey everyone, my name is Mal and I'm a support engineer at Vision. I'm going to be walking you through how to connect Vision's container tracking API to Airtable. If you aren't familiar, Airtable combines the power of a database using the functionality of a spreadsheet so you can work with your data uh, in a more familiar format. Vision data is super flexible. It can really seamlessly integrate into a variety of systems. So this demo will just be one illustration of that. In this tutorial, we are going to use Airtable and Zapier to set up a system where we can subscribe to containers using a table in Airtable. And then we can see the updates from Vision in a separate table as they come in that tell us where our containers are in the world. Uh, so let's get started. So the first step in the tutorial is to create an Airtable base for our container tracking input. So a base is really just Airtable's concept of spreadsheet or workbook. And we can create the base by going to Airtable and clicking Create a Base. So this table view you see is where we'll enter the container ID and the carrier code to trigger an API request to Vision to start tracking uh, the containers that we enter. A uh, quick note that for the purposes of this tutorial, it's definitely possible to include track by bill of lading and ACI, which is auto carrier identification, you don't know the carrier code. Uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we will keep it scoped to container ID and carrier code. So once we have this new base, we can first rename it. I'm going to call this my containers. And then let's delete these extra columns. and rename these first two. So this will be container ID. And this next field will be carrier code. Okay, so we've completed the input base. We need to go back and create one more base for our updates from Vision. So you can go ahead and click create a base. I already have mine in here. Uh, just because there are quite a few columns to rename. So these, you want to make your columns match what I have here. These are the data points that I want to pull from the vision update payloads. Uh, this is the information that I want to see about the containers that I'm tracking. An important note, you can go to our API documentation at docs.visionapi.com and you can go to this section called update payload samples here we have a JSON uh, sample of data that shows you what the update payloads look like that Vision will send for each container that you're tracking. So you can use any of these properties, any of this data, um, but for the purposes of the demo, just go ahead and use what I have here. You can pause the video to do that now. So now that we have our update space complete, we need to add some logic for what to do when Vision sends updates to Airtable. So we're going to use something that Airtable calls automations. And you'll see I already have mine set up here. I think it'll be easier to walk through. So what you'll see, it, Without having this already in place, you'll see add a trigger. That's the first step in the process. We want to choose when webhook received. Vision is going to send the update to Airtable. So when Vision sends an update, we need to do a few additional things to be able to parse the data and get it into our Airtable table that we just created. One of these, so after you've added the trigger, you'll need to add a new action and choose run a script. So this part may look a little complicated, but really we just need this code snippet. This is JavaScript that will parse our JSON and pull out the nested objects that we need. Airtable makes it a bit difficult to access these properties, so we just need to use this workaround to run the script and get the data we need. So this code snippet will be linked in the video description, so you can just easily copy the code and paste it here. 
And the last thing we need to do is define our input variables. So what from the JSON that Vision sends, what data do we need to use in the script? And we need to use the milestone descriptions, the planned Boolean, which um, tells you if an event is planned or has already happened, and ETAs, which are the timestamps associated with each milestone. So Airtable has a built-in UI to make this pretty straightforward. You'll just want to make sure you name them descriptions, planned, ETAs, and you just have to kind of go through the body of the JSON to find the value. I found that it doesn't really let you search with nested JSON, so you have to go through the payload, down through milestones, and select description. So I just added it twice there, but you'll do that for each of these values. Description, planned, and timestamp. Okay, so now that we have our script in place, the next action, really all of the rest of this automation, is just going to be check if the reference ID exists in the table. If it does, just update the record. If it doesn't, create an entirely new record. So we, we want to just be updating our containers with new update payloads. We don't want to add a new row for each update. So the next step will be, we need to choose another action. So under run a script, let's select find records from the action type. We want to find records based on a condition. And the condition is where the reference ID is the reference ID in our JSON payload. The final step here is to add some conditional logic to choose whether we're updating the record or creating a new one. I will jump over to this previous automation so you can see uh, what it looks like to add conditional logic. So just delete this existing action and you'll see this ad add advanced logic or action button and this will it's not appearing for me because I already have these in place, but, but you should see that. So you'll add conditional logic and we want to check to see if we found any records that match our reference ID from our update payload. And so for this first, for this if statement, you'll want to select if length of records equals one, we want to add the action update record. Otherwise, if records length equals zero, create a new record. And so within update record and create record, it's going to take some time to go through each property and match it to where it is in the JSON payload. So both for update record and create record, you need to add each of these fields. Um, to this action section. So you'll see here, you can kind of just walk through the, the body of the JSON to find those values. So that's container ID, and you'll just go through and do that for each of these properties. For origin and destination, you'll see I chose the city and country there's other location information you can use, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I kept it scoped to city and country. So you'll want to just make sure that all of these match the columns in your table. And you need to do that for update and create. Okay, so now we've completed our update space. We have the automation set. And we also have our my containers base that takes our input. Uh, the missing piece, the, the final piece, is to set up our zap in Zapier. And that will take our input, make an API request to Vision to start tracking those containers, and also tell Vision where, where the updates should be sent. So it's going to include that webhook URL to, to Airtable. Um, so that Vision knows 
to send the JSON to Airtable. Okay, so now I'm logged into Zapier and I went ahead and this is the completed Zap, but when you log in, you'll see an option to create a new Zap and we'll walk through this step by step. So under trigger, we want to choose Airtable as the app and the event will be new records. So anytime we add a new record to our input table, we want to make an API request to Vision. So we can click continue. This section is just associating your account, your Zapier account with Airtable. And under trigger, we'll choose the base is our my containers base. That's our input. Table one, it's, it's called by default and then we can leave the rest the same. And it will give you an option to test your trigger. And then under action, we are going to use webhooks by Zapier and we want to make a post request. So when you're subscribing to containers using the Vision API, you're using a post request because you need to send data to Vision so Vision knows which containers you would like to track. So under action, we our URL is the URL um, prod.visionapi.com slash references. This is the API endpoint that we need to use. We are going to send JSON data. And under data, we're going to be using container ID, carrier code, and callback URL. So it gives you an option to search for available fields in your Airtable table. Um, so you'll see these appear by default. So match container ID with the Airtable container ID, carrier code with carrier code, and then callback URL is going to point to the webhook in our updates automation. So you can go to your automation. There we go. You can find the URL that you should use. So you'll copy this URL and paste it here. You can make sure all of these fields match. And the final field is matching the API key with your API key. So you'll replace this with your vision API key and click continue. Okay, so setting up the Zap was the last step in the process, and now we're good to start subscribing to containers. Um, so you can go to your My Containers base, and all you have to do is enter in the container ID and the carrier code, and do nothing more, nothing else you have to press, just create that new record. And then if you go back to your Vision Updates base, you'll see that these updates will start coming in in a um, really nice and, and readable format. And that's it. Um, each time updates come in, they'll just replace this old data um, and yeah, keep providing you with the latest information for each of your containers. I hope you enjoyed this demo. Please let us know if you have any questions or feedback. You can always write into us at support at visionapi.com. Um, I mentioned the API documentation throughout the tutorial, but I also want to point out our knowledge base that you can see on the screen. Um, this is a great place to search for more information and content about vision. Thanks.